So Solomon used his, his wisdom that he gotten from the Lord God to show who loved the baby. Right. That's a lie. So he took, he brought the baby before, before them and before himself right. and ordered the baby to be right. cut in half. Right. The one that loved him screamed out, you know, go ahead and give it to her, in other words. Right. The other one just wanted to cut it in half and divide it. So Solomon gave it to the one that loved, that proved that she loved right. the baby. The other lady really didn't care about a dead one or a live right. one. She just didn't want the other lady to have it, in other words. Exactly. Knowing she, it was hers. Right, because she said, go ahead and cut it in half oh, anyway. Yeah. So the other one screamed out, no, no, you know, give it to her, you know, trying to save the child because, you know, if, as a mother, as a true mother, the love that you have, even if you are not the biological mother, any love that you have for a child, you will defend, you are advocate for that child, and you will do anything to say no. Don't hurt the heart of the chap. Don't kill the chap. So when the Solomon, King Solomon seen this, that's where, you know. You, know, and so you notice that every woman doesn't have love for uh, babies. That's true. And that's they true. make a choice to have to have abortion or not. Right. And then uh, even though this was not abortion, but this was a, a child that had already was brought forth out of her womb. Right. But it was a child. Right. It's a human. It's, a, it's something that's alive, even though it's inside. Right. It's still considered a baby, a child. So the choice still was the choice of either destroying the child or keeping the child. Right. And this Solomon was the wisest, one of the wisest men that ever lived. In his time, he was the wisest. He sure was. It didn't matter what age. He was the wisest because the, the Lord wisest. had instilled that in him, yeah. wisdom. And knowledge, things that he didn't, you know, things that he didn't ask for riches, and exactly. the Lord gave him that too as well. So, you see that we do have decisions. Of course, women do have the rights. Exactly. Even though Christians, some Christians fight against that, but it's not true. They do have rights. Because you notice that Paling's daughter, Bristol, um, she was um, was pregnant during the time that um, Sarah Paling became the nominee for the vice president president back in 2008 and then afterwards she, when she became that then her daughter um business came out to the open and she didn't bring it to the open about you know my daughter had you know a child a wedlock, like nothing she didn't say anything about it until they brought it to the attention of the public and um you know and so what the um the lady was saying um um, what's her name? Um, sorry, <laughs> her name was Charlotte. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Stephanie was saying about that's why a lot of the the celebrities or anyone else, when they see that okay, my business came out in the open when it's supposed to be private, then that's where they want to go and get abortion because of that situation and that's what she wanted to bring to the attention of you know not everybody are like that but um here's one more thing before we get off of the subject of healing i think we're getting a little tired of it one more thing that she said she said on friday i guess this past friday um that the united states should continue to drill for oil despite the golf spill now we already have some issues with the oil spill but we have big time issues. Big time. Think about it. Livelihoods and everything of people that have to Some people have died, you know, during the, the explosion of the oil, the golf that's oil one, rig. That's one big major problem. And we have a problem trying to get all the oil that's in the ocean to, and trying to keep it from getting to the ocean. Yeah, you know, they have robots down there. they doing everything to try. And it's, and it's so much. And you telling me that this woman who should be our president or vice president saying oh in spite of what's going on continue to drill regardless they need of to learn how to be a, low, a lot more safer because it's a lot of environment a lot of animals they are dying are dying and people livelihood they they actually live by the ocean they actually exactly their exactly. income come from the ocean <sighs> and we have to be more careful we have to have more 
devices that protect that and they acknowledge something is about to happen. So it'd be like a 99.9% .9 not about to happen, in other words. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they do have robots, but it should be controlled immediately. But it's but it's so but the but you know having the robots there, it took them too long to even have yeah, them. them. Yeah. And in, in, in the, the ocean, oil, in the deep, yeah, yes. it, the oil has already spread, and it's half reshores, and it has destroyed a lot of a lot pelicans of, and a lot right. of you know fishes and a lot of you know other things that are. I think they should compensate them. They should compensate them, but I at think the same, they should compensate the people the that have livelihood as well. Right, but they shouldn't have to be. No, drilling. are they going to compensate them for sure anyway? I think it's like yeah, 10 they should. Million dollars. I think the compensation is ten million dollars. Uh, we ain't got no ten million dollars. No, what? I mean, the, I know the, what the you're saying. The people that spilled the oil, the cause of the oil, that they paid ten million dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna mention the. Uh, but the, the, th but the thing is, the, is uh, how is it that you going to? Um, want to drill when you can't resolve the problem that we have now we have problems we have right. serious problem where this this oil is not being retained as of now it's still spreading if they can't get, get it all it's still a big major problem yeah because i would hate to be the anything living down in the bottom oh, for gosh. sure and you know what it's something about the lord's animals they tend to survive anything rather than yeah. water or whatever but it, it's going to kill a lot of them. It's yeah. killed a lot of them. It's smothered them. It's suffocated them because the oil suffocates them. Yeah, of, of course. Because you know oil and water doesn't mix anyway. Right. But it's just so a principle. So it suffocates. It's, it's, you know, the they got to come thing. up for air. And right. that oil that's covering the, the top part layers of the water, right. you can't get through it without being immersed in the oil. and, and then It's so you, deep. That's the reason so, why they had to use ro robots. Yeah. So, you know, some of y'all... They're paling lovers. And they don't even know, some of them don't even know why they lovers. I know. And some of them are just going to go ahead and be with, if it's the devil, they're going to stick with the devil. Yeah. That's all yeah. to it. Not saying know. that she's one. I'm just saying. You know, she's, her logic is not there. And Some she, people going to stick with good, and some people going to stick with bad. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, Pelling, just do your homework and, and, and try to be a little bit more open-minded on what you know the things of others and and have better insight that's what it, that's, that's, insight, that's, most, that's right the most important thing being a president you have to have deep insight yeah you, you have, have to, to know the ins and outs i'm sorry you have to know the ins and outs about situations when you sit there and, and you stand there before people secretary of state that used to be a former general or whatever and these people these people they pretty uh crafty they can have you do some things that you shouldn't be doing. Well, look what happened when you was with McCain. How, you know, y'all was at each other's throat. You was doing one thing and he was doing another. And both of y'all had clashing. And they were saying things about you and everything like that. And, and that's why y'all didn't win as well. So, you know, the thing is, is that y'all need, you need to get it together, sister. I'm sorry, but you need to get it together. And you need to know about your history. You need to, you know, I didn't even know who you were until you became <laughs> the nominee of... of uh, vice president or McCain. Yeah. I didn't even know that you exist in, in Alaska to be honest with you. I didn't even because you're so quiet. You didn't and then you step down after you didn't win or whatever. You stepped down for being the governor of Alaska. What was up with that? But anyway, that's your business. You know, um hope everything goes well with you and your family and God bless you and mm -hmm. hope you um do whatever you need to do to, to get it right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Get it right. <laughs> Amen on that.